is Kate from the blog wildtalesof.com, where we blog about family travel and outdoor adventure. Today I want to show you this travel crib by Guava Family. It's called the Lotus Crib, and it's one of the easiest travel cribs that I've had to put together. We've put together quite a few travel cribs over the years. We have two children, ages 18 months and four and a half years. And it's also one of the fastest setups that um, we've encountered. And pictured here is the instruction manual, um, the crib itself in the carrying case uh, that has hand straps as well as backpack straps, and also the sheet there that's um, custom, customized to fit right in with the mattress itself that's also enclosed. So uh, in just a second, I'll show you how it works. So first I'll show you what is inside the travel crib case. First you have the um, crib mattress, like I said, or not the crib mattress, the um, crib sheet that is customized to fit this particular mattress. And then inside, and while I'm talking about the, the bag, um, you can use these hand straps and carry it just like a regular bag. You can also use it and carry it like a backpack with these straps on the uh, side here. And these uh, straps can also fit back into, like you can unclip them and, and stuff them back into the case if that's not something that you're going to use. So on to what's inside, it's just two main parts. So you zip it open, you have the part that's keeping it all protected is actually the mattress, so it's all enclosed in, so you have the mattress here. And then you have the crib itself right here. So we have the crib, I'll fold it up like that, and then you take the mattress out. And that's it. So you have the crib, you have the mattress, and then the sheet. And next I'll show you how to put it together. All right, let's put this crib together. So really just set the mattress off to the side, and you want to start with the main uh, crib portion. So first you want to, um, what I forgot to do was latch this together. So you want to unlatch that. Then you want to set it down, face so the crib is actually facing down, and you just want to get the legs out. So you just um, simply unfold them like this. Super simple, super easy. You just want to get everything unfolded, and then all you do is you can just do it this way, make it all straight, and you'll hear two clicks on either side. and it's all set to go. So the next thing you do is you want to um, put your crib, crib mattress on your crib. Put your, put your crib sheet on your crib mattress. This goes around like this. And as you can see, the crib is basically all set up. And this is just kind of getting it ready for your baby or your toddler to uh, go to sleep. Here and then fits down into the crib, and obviously, you want to go and adjust accordingly. And then, what will take just a little bit of time is to get all these straps to go through so that you can secure the mattress down into the crib. And I'll just show you how to do one of them here. So I loop this through and it's a Velcro strap. It just loops through and then it connects here at the bottom of the crib as well and there's the other piece of Velcro on the bottom of the crib and you're just securing it. So you're doing that to all the sides of the crib. There's two on um, the short ends and then there's just one um, in, on the sides here. So you're all set for a good night's sleep for your baby or toddler. And if you want to open this side, there's a, it's a good option for kids to go in and out and play, or if you needed to lay down with the child, um, this just um, unclips here. It's kind of a safety measure. And then you can unzip, and um, the baby or toddler can go in this way. And some people use it as a play yard. And again, like I said, um, parents also like the option of being able to lay in there with the baby and possibly 
nurse or just lay with them until they fall asleep. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how to disassemble the crib and put it back into the carrying case so it's all ready to go back in the car or on the airplane, wherever you might be traveling. So first you wanna start by um, loosening each sides of the crib. There are levers here where you see arrows. There's arrows here on this side and arrows also on this side. And so there's a lever that you just wanna squeeze here and here and then it um, loosens those bars so that they can go together like that. Before you do that though, you want to take out the mattress. So, and you also have to unsecure it, which is something I forgot to do. So I take those Velcro straps off of the mattress and I just um, secured um, one of them. So um, obviously, if you had truly set it up for the child to sleep, you'd you'd want to go around, and there are six of them. So I usually take off the crib sheet so that it's ready to go in the wash, and then it goes. I'm just gonna set this on the bag so I can show you how to put that inside the bag. So it fits just perfectly in the bag. So I'm gonna kind of. Kind of, I kind of fold it into a box like that, and it really wants to go that way, so it's pretty easy to get it to um, go in that position. And then I just kind of get the bag to go around, basically around the crib mattress. So I want to leave a little bit of looseness in there so that you can get the um, main crib. Uh, back in there, but that's the basics. So I'm going to set that aside. So put the mattress back inside the bag. Now let's just continue disassembling. So you want to, there are pictures to help you. So there's a star here and there's a star here. And so you want those two stars to meet up and there's a moon here and a moon here and you want those two to meet up as well. So you just kind of push this together and it just folds like that. So you've made kind of an N or a Z, depending on how you're looking at it. And then to really get it all secure, you take these two clips and just clip it together. And that makes it a lot easier to get back into the bag. And then this part, the only part that I kind of found a little bit tricky is you have to sort of pull these legs back. So it takes... takes a second for me, and maybe I'm just not exactly super good at it yet, but you kind of have to pull back for it to go down. Like that, and like that, and then you have all of your legs secured and folded down. Maybe it's not necessarily secured, but they're all folded down and nice and neat. So, bring the bag and the mattress back over, and then um, the top side down, so the gray side rail down, fits right down into the bag, just like that, and then I kind of cover it up, cover everything up with the mattress. Again, I make the bag go around the mattress, and then it just zips up. And I usually put the crib in a, in, or not the crib, the, the um, sheet in another, in another spot just so I can remember um, to wash it. But you could also fit it in the bag. So it zips up just like that. And there you have it. That's how you set up the Lotus crib and, um, and break it down. Um, again, it's from Guava Family, and this is Kate from wildtalesof.com, where we blog about family travel and outdoor adventure. Please visit our website and you can click on the about page and contact us if you have any questions. We'd love to hear from you.